Hello everybody, my name is Lord High Penguin, and today I'm going to show you my new Space Engineers ship. So, let's have a look. This is it, really. It's a bomber. So I decided to make a bomber. But it's, it doesn't actually have any explosives on it. So I um, saw, some, saw something quite recently where somebody made a bomber using um, simply, I think I can quote, quote under here, yep, rocks. Starting from the front, uh, we've just got the cockpit, it's all fairly exposed and this is one thing with this, it has very, very little uh, in the way of defences. Uh, which means it can be very open to attack, but you'd probably have this flying with at least one uh, wing of bombers, uh, fighters even, with a wing of bombers. So the idea is um, it flies towards the enemy, it releases rocks out of these four um, connectors here at the back, and those uh, rocks will have a lot of you know, kinetic energy, uh, they'll be moving very fast forwards and down towards the target by the time they get there. And they will smash through armour. I can't seem to get these explosives. I've tried to make explosives version as well. Um, and it was okay, but it sort of doesn't explode on impact and it's slightly annoying and I couldn't get that to work properly. But either way, I got this one to work happily. Um, so it's fairly, it's fairly manoeuvrable actually. It's got two large reverse atmospheric thrusters, um, four sideways in each direction. Um, to go up, it's got two large atmospheric thrusters there, and another, I can't remember how many I've got here, four there, three there, and the same on the other side. Uh, the reason it's got so much is because this thing is extremely heavy. It doesn't look like it should be, uh, and that's because it's not. When it's uh, empty and not got any rocks in it, it's fairly light. It's fairly small, it's, it's all made of light armour. It's, it's pretty difficult to, you know, not get it to fly. But when you fill this cargo, you've got this cargo container, and if that's full of stuff, to, full of rocks and stuff which you'll bomb with, it can pretty quickly become a big overweight lump that doesn't want to fly properly. So that's why it's got so much upward thrust and yeah it does. I have it set up so that the um, when, you, when you spawn it in the blueprint actually contains rocks. So we are gonna now take off even so this isn't actually full of stuff um, but you can see what I mean about the being quite you know, easy to get up in the air. Uh, and you bank it, obviously, and you've got a lot of stopping force. But anyway, so let's uh, retreat a bit. It's not the fastest thing in the world. Um, fairly fast, fairly fast accelerating all that. But let's just go back here. Yep, so let's say about here. Because I want to see what kind of damage we can do to these. So this is a layer of three thick light armor. Um, and so let's start dropping now. As you see those are going to drop. Oh and look at that. That is three... that armor is three layers thick. I did not... I kind of expected it to get through but sort of not much more than that. But look at that. You can't see it at the moment because of that. Look at that, it's just gone straight through. Oh, I'm going to have to do more layers of armour. Look at that! It's gone straight through it! Right, okay, next thing I want to do is test that. There is two layers of heavy armour, which I thought would be enough, but now I'm starting to doubt if that's actually going to, you know, pose any threat to this, is this destructive capability now. Okay, so... Now let's have another go at this. Should be fine. 
start distributing rocks now. It takes a second to start. Did it? Oh, whoops. And what's even better with the uh, rocks is theoretically, okay, I'm going to smash through this way instead now. Theoretically, if you um, get it stuck in someone's ship, so if they've got really thick armor and you manage to get it stuck, then as they move around, uh, it sh the rocks should move in relation to their ship and it should completely. Uh... <laughs> oh, look at that. Actually, looking at that, I think that's gone straight through again, hasn't it? That's actually just gone straight through. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back. I'm going to uh, I'm going to double the layers. Now, I'm just going to double the thickness of that because whew. right so now we're going to try going through I've doubled the layer of each one so the heavy now armor is now four um, blocks and the light armor is six of course the destructive capabilities capabilities can depend on how fast you're going um, so I didn't think about that actually, because I've I've tested it a bit. But I must have been going a lot. I think I was probably going a bit, quite a bit slower. So, in other news, that did not make it through, did it? Did I hit it? Oh yeah, no, I did. I did. I did. I did. Um, and what it's done is it's broken through all. By the looks of it, at this point, all but one. So this can obviously go through three blocks of heavy armour, which is pretty damn impressive. Um, and as I said, if you have got these rocks here, um, so a lot of them get destroyed. Uh, I hit down here as well, actually. Um, so you've got these rocks down here. So that's a 1.3 kilogram. 1.3 kilogram stone. Um, I don't know how big the other one is, but when you've got a couple of those, yeah, 1.3. Most of them get destroyed, but if a few survive, they can cause havoc once they're in there. They can start doing damage to systems as well. So you can smash through, and these stones can then. Uh, smash through the next layer of systems and then get stuck and then start breaking things like gyroscopes, whatever. Uh, we're starting to lose the sun now, so this is going to have to be the last run, I think. Otherwise, we're going to start, you know, it's just going to start getting annoying. But yeah, so we'll start bombing. Um, we'll see. Okay, good, 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 good. It didn't actually go through. Um, oh, actually, so you can see actually we've, we've hit down here as well. Um, Oh, look at that. We've destroyed that ramp. That ramp's gone. That ramp... Um, these windows in here... Basically, we've, we've caused havoc in here, haven't we? Destroyed the hangar doors. Uh, and any ships that are in there as well. But yeah, so you can see the sort of destructive capability that this bomber can have on its own. Well, that's one thing I, ha I would like to point out, though. On these, there's one design flaw that I have noticed. Basically, these connectors hold a lot of rocks. But if you haven't distri you know, distributed all these rocks to your enemies, they have a tendency basically, if you if the enemy manages to shoot your connector the game will make the connector disappear and in its place will be everything it contained in one big rock. If it spawns a huge rock there it can basically destroy your entire ship and I had it at one point where it just disabled my entire ship. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe for more ships like this, more carnage, and more videos. Goodbye.